So, just like to apologise first and foremost guys, because I've not got my webcam today because my eye is really hurt in the corner of my right eye for some reason. Maybe I rubbed it wrong in my sleep yesterday after my nap because that's how long it's been hurting. I might have to go to the doctors. But, anyway, so in this series so far we have explored my theory on why the perceivable universe could be a wave. And we've also explored what pollinated the plants before the bees. But in this episode, the gloves are off. Because I've discovered something, and it could be huge. Join me in this episode of Serene Theories, where we go over... Is the entertainment industry intentionally dumbing down kids? So it's no mystery that shows now are trashy when it comes to kids stuff. Back in the day we would have so much to provide for kids. There would be engaging tools for kids to read, engaging shows parents and kids could both enjoy, and if you're a certain breed of insanity, even have a full secret story to explore with hidden hints in half frames. And although there is still the case of that, sometimes it's so little now, They've removed the adult from kids content that made it so engaging both as a kid and an adult to watch. The number one rule used to be that the best kids content is enjoyable to adults and kids but that just is not the case anymore. It's no mystery that the animation industry in itself is expensive, very expensive, because it's so handcrafted and that's all and that all these companies have no issues letting people go to squeeze every inch of money from the product as possible. But our generation who grew up with the good shows, the ones with genuine effort put into it, we're vocal about it, but yet they can keep producing it, so who's it really for? You see, kids are a blank slate. An adult has mostly already gained their personality, Yes, people can change for better or for worse, but your foundations are set. A kid, they don't have these foundations. So if you can get parents with no parenting skills because the resources out there are so little now compared to what we're told they used to be, you have these people who are already partially destroyed by technology because realistically most of us here are introverts. And you get the, those people to shove garbage being shoveled down their throats. At a lower quality, these kids will become used to that quality. Therefore, when those kids are 18, whilst we're in our 30s and 40s, our opinion won't hold as much weight. That's for the new generation of kids. These kids expect bad quality, so they are not complaining. Because they are desensitised to it. This is the issue we face. Now that goes for entertainment, but the issue stems deeper, because yes AI non-tent is crappy, but if you look at these kids content and books, that is considerably more messed up. A few years ago Charlie did a video on a pooping unicorn, yes, that one, and that could be seen as one off strange thing, but no, you look at children's book, children's toys, there is so much related to poop. And yes, before you type in the comments, yes, I understand kids need potty training and this stuff helps. But to what degree? You have turtles singing about the needing to go to the toilet. You have fart ninjas, whatever living fresh hell is that garbage. You have way, way, way too many books on, on it. What happened to slime? You know... What happened to, Le we know what happened to Legos, they stopped catering to the average income with products getting more and more expensive, but slime is just corn flour and water, it's practically free. I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm thinking too much into it, but there is always a reason for most things, and that is the most logical reason, because one product that's bad is just a bad product. Two, it's a little bit of a coincidence, but there is countless and countless products that are designed to 
dumbed down kids. And I feel that it 100% relates to the fact they don't want to complain that we're doing now when these kids turn 18. So let me know what you think down below because I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm a crazy odd mother to see it too. I hope you all have an absolute amazing day. I hope that you all stay safe. And this has been me, Serene Generation. And I am out, yo. Peace.